Hi, it's just after Christmas 2019 and just before Christmas I found a lot on eBay um, which I bid for. I was not expecting it until January next year but it was sent very quickly, post office and a grand job again. It came just before Christmas. So I bet you're curious to know what's inside. To know something? So am I. Let's find out. Well, here we go YouTubers, welcome to another, this is a, a restoration video I hope, with a slight difference that it's going to be an unboxing video, which seems to be quite popular with some necks of the wood. So this is my unboxing video number two, which should be a set of matchbox to a vehicles. So let's have a look, didacted the um, address for obvious reasons and inside nicely wrapped up bit of bubble wrap so good wrapping so a number of items which I can't remember offhand I did have a quick look before Christmas so let's have a wee look and see these are no particular order but I do believe that they are on in fact in the models of yesteryear range and first out the box is this little tram, it's a London tram, I have a look at it, it says number 3, so that's uh, models of yesteryear number 3, it's a London tram. I believe that there should be a roof, it's a little bit of damage to this side here at the top, um, but otherwise it seems to be complete, obviously paint work, needing a bit of doing up, uh, probably new decals, so I can get those in order and get them up pretty soon. Right, let's do this next. Oh, now we know what this one is. I think I'll just zoom in a little way. Eh? What do you think? There we go. This is, of course, models of yesteryear number 14. It's the Duke of Connaught, single. Um, with no tender, of course. Um, pretty beaten up looking, but at least it's complete except for, look at that, there's no smoke, uh, no boiler door. Okay, hopefully I can find that on online and get it ordered up. Uh, but everything else is there, the wheels are there, and just needs a good old clean up, strip down, paint off repaint, touch up gold all over the place. Okay, that's number two. Now what have I got? Oh, it's a, another bus, quite an old bus. Uh, this says it's number... I can't make out, but it says underneath it's a 1920, I don't know if you can read that, it says 1920, is that number 2? Made in England as a B-type bus, B-type bus, okay, um, I suspect that there should be some stairs, yep, uh, it's got a driver and steering wheel, and the wheels are complete, they seem to be grey. Uh, I remember reading about this not that long ago. It's got spoked wheels at the front and these are called daisy lattice wheels. Crimped axle ends, black driver and, oh that looks slack, mm, seating is slack. Okay. Put that one aside as well. And here's number four out the box. Oh. We used to call these a steam road roller. Probably that's what it's called. A steam roller. Big wheels. And you would not like to get your feet underneath one of these. Um, I suspect I, there should be a roof part. And underneath... Wheels look like an axle bent there, see that 
wheels are not quite in line. Um, and here, there should be a fly wheel of some kind. Words I got a number on it. I don't see a number stamped on the base. So I'll find out more about this later on. But steam road roller. Oh well, I've seen this one as well. This is uh, the general class American style locomotive. Looking very much beat up as well. Oops, and it's got wheels missing from the front. The two sets of wheels there. Hmm, pretty poor condition. But other than that, not too bad. This is slack, but I think that's happened to my first one. Um, when I did my earlier general, I repainted the body in brown to match the Connaught, the Duke of Connaught, but maybe I'll try and put it back to its original, or I might even do a custom. Hey, the one with my oyster, I can do what I like. Right, that's five, what have we got? Number six, Ooh, number six. I remember seeing something like this when I went to the Grampian Transport Museum in a place called, um, I can't remember now, oh, it'll come back to me. Anyway, this is in fact a steam driven truck. Uh, looks as if it, the, re, the decal should have said something like sand and gravel supplies. So obviously decals needed. So I love the blue colour. There's the steam funnel. And presumably this at the back would be the firebox. Slack base. Right, okay. Yeah. And here, number six. No, this is number seven. Two for one, this is number seven. Oh! Is this, uh, this is, um, Another B-type bus. Yes, there we go. Two buses. And this shows you what I suspected. And this one here, there should have been a, a stairwell. An exterior stairwell there. Okay, lovely. Although I do notice this one has a driver missing. Black wheels as opposed to grey wheels. I wonder if that was a variation. The paint is slightly darker as well. Okay. Oh, and it should have jewels as a, a decal on it. And a destination plate at the front. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it says uh, Euston Road and then Piccadilly and Fulham Road and Putney Bridge. I would imagine that's what it meant to be. Okay, and there's one at the back as well. Okay, okay, nice one. So, uh, this is the last one. So I got eight, that's right, this is eight. Ooh. This is nice as well. These models of yesteryear sort of concentrated in the early part of the century, maybe late 19th century for their models. This is called an AEC and in the plate it gives a sort of years 1916 to 1923. Uh, that's probably the production years of the prototype with a radiator grill at the front. Um, AEC, that the make of the company, a kind of grey uh, paint job and obviously some decals missing. Did it say anything else? Uh, let's see. It's, um, 
Sentinel, can you just make that out? Sentinel. Some other things is number six, that's why six. Sentinel. Lovely. Right, well, that's a uh, nice lot of yesteryear models to be getting on with. So, I'm going to take a note of them all. If there's any parts needing ordered, I'll try and get them ordered. Any decals, I'll try and get those ordered as well. Uh, there's one or two that I hope I might actually manage to reproduce myself, so I'll have a wee go with that. So, I've got one, two trucks, I've got two locomotives, and I've basically got two buses and a tram, and a steam road roller. Excellent. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned and I'll try and get round to these as soon as I possibly can. Although I do have a whole batch of regular wheels matchbox to get started on as well. So anyway, take care. Have a good new year because I don't think it will be back before the end of 2019. Uh, so have a great 2020 and hopefully we'll see you all then back on YouTube. So take care now. Bye for now.